2. The virtues of Samantabhadra. Present 2. Among those presiding as elders were the 16 upright adepts. Namely, Bodhisattva worthy protector, Bodhisattva deft comprehension, Bodhisattva eloquent wisdom, Bodhisattva unveiling impermanence, Bodhisattva supernatural splendor, Bodhisattva radiant nobility, Bodhisattva jeweled banner, Bodhisattva supreme wisdom, Bodhisattva serene root, Bodhisattva unshakable wisdom, Bodhisattva devoted wisdom, Bodhisattva Fragrant Elephant. Bodhisattva Treasure Blossom. Bodhisattva Middle Way Abiding. Bodhisattva Restrained Conduct. And Bodhisattva Liberation. All abided by and emulated. The virtues of the great Samantabhadra. Perfectly observing. His incomparable vows of conduct. Remaining firmly. Within the Dharma of his virtues. They wandered freely in every direction using whatever means they could. They penetrated the Buddha's Dharma treasury and reached the other shore. They vowed to visit infinite realms and achieve perfect Sambodhi. They left behind Tasita heaven and descended into the royal palace. They abandoned status and home to practice asceticism and study the way. They did these things for the sake of men. With the power of concentration and wisdom, they vanquished Mara. They grasped the subtle Dharma, subtle and mysterious, and achieved supreme, perfect Sambodhi. Beings heavenly and human, turned to them, and worshipped them, and begged them to turn the Dharma wheel. They broadcast unceasingly, the sound of the Dharma, awakening all worlds. They tore down the citadel of afflictions and drained the mode of desire. They wiped clean all filth, revealing the pure. They created harmony among beings, revealing the profound and subtle truth. They performed good deeds, producing fields of merit. They used a variety of remedies to cure the three sufferings. They ascended to the stage of anointed one, and were given the prophecy of Sambodhi. They served as spiritual masters, instructing bodhisattvas, training them unceasingly in countless practices, allowing their countless virtuous roots to flourish. Watched over by infinite Buddhas, with the power to appear in any Buddha land. Like skilled illusionists, they could appear in any form. Such forms were indeed illusory. Moreover they accomplished the following. They penetrated the intrinsic nature of all dharmas and the origination of conditioned things. They made offerings to all Buddhas, opening the way for all living things. They changed form in a flash like lightning. They rent asunder Mara's net, unraveling all entanglements. They went far beyond Sravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas. They entered the Dharma gates of emptiness, formlessness and non-desire. They devised skillful means of demonstrating the three vehicles. They explained nirvana to those of low and average ability. They obtained the many forms of neither rising nor ceasing samadhi, as well as every method of dharani. They entered flower garland samadhi. As they pleased, they mastered the technique of holding firm the many thousand forms of samadhi, dwelling firmly in deep meditation. They encountered infinite Buddhas, in the span of a single thought. They traveled far and wide, to every Buddha land. They acquired a Buddha's eloquence. They adhered to Samantabhadra's vows. They used the myriad tongues of beings, to enlighten them, revealing the true nature of reality. They transcended worldly dharmas, and fixed their mind unceasingly upon the path that goes behind this world. Yet they were at ease and in control of all worldly things. They extended the hand of friendship to the great multitude of beings. They accepted and firmly grasped the Tathagata's profound dharma treasury. They preserved the seed of Buddhahood, endeavoring always to keep it alive. 
Within them arose great compassion. They grieved for sentient beings. They preached to them. With eloquence and loving kindness. They gave them the gift of the Dharma I. They stopped them. From going down evil paths. They laid open the gates of virtue. They viewed others as no different from themselves. They carried them on their backs. And brought them to the other shore. Where they all acquired the Buddha's infinite virtues. Becoming wise and intelligent to an unimaginable degree. Thus were the many great bodhisattvas. Limitless and uncountable, they gathered on this day. Present too were five hundred bhiksunas. Seven thousand upasakas. Five hundred upasikas. The divinities of the realm of desire. The divinities of the realm of subtle form. And the divinities of the Brahma worlds.